Let's go over here now and go back to our top menu. I'm going to go here to Engineering Setup. That's down here on the bottom, ENG Setup. I'm going to press this, and we're going to start by setting system parameters. On the left-hand side, we're going to touch the System Soft key, and at the bottom, we're going to make sure that Network Config is pressed. Now, when the switcher comes out of the box, it's not exactly sure how many components of the MVS system you have connected. Normally, it's just a panel and a switcher, but you can also hook up extra things like digital effects boxes and extra device control units and things like that. So what we have to do is we have to make sure everything's talking correctly. The first thing you want to make sure is that this area here called Group ID is actually set to Group 1. If it's not, you can simply press this button and type in 1 and hit Enter. It's going to make you reboot the system, which we don't want to do. But if it wasn't set to 1 for some reason, it needs to be on 1. The next thing we want to do is we want to hit this button called Auto Config. Now what Auto Config is going to do is it's going to go out on the network and it's going to kind of ask who's on my network and what are you and do you belong here. So we're going to say yes. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds and it's going to go out on the Ethernet port and it's going to start looking for MVS components. Now it's finished interrogating the network and it's found one panel and one switcher, which is exactly what we expect. The last thing we've got to do is we need to hit Define. Define tells it to save these parameters so that we don't have to go and look down the whole LAN every time we turn on the switcher. It basically says you're only expected to find a panel and a switcher, don't look for anything else. 